Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to WindowsReport.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the this operating system is not supported error in Windows 10. This error mostly appears when you try to install a software, maybe an older program or maybe a game. Installing older things or newer Windows operating system can get this error message. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix that problem to make it not appear anymore. <music> Firstly, uh, it's very important to have your Windows up to date, so I'm going to show you how to update Windows. You're going to have to click on the start button and then click on settings. In settings, you're going to have to go down to update and security. And after that, you're going to have to go to Windows Update tab. And here, Windows will check for updates, will download them for you and install them when you're ready. Once you do that, you're going to have to make sure you have all your drivers up to date on your Windows operating system. So I'm going to show you a program called Driver Updater to uh, help you install outdated drivers or maybe install drivers that you don't have just uh, go to the link down below in the description you're going to have this program and install all your drivers you're going to have a scan and then update the drivers that you want you can select the drivers that you want to be installed and maybe install the outdated drivers after you've done all this you're going to have to see what program causes the error you can view the problem in a more particular way so let's say maybe Opera browser won't run on my Windows operating system. We're gonna have to run the program in compatibility mode. That's very important. This thing can work for games, for software, for older games and stuff like that. So it's very easy to use. Just right click on the program you want to install or use. Go to properties, then go to compatibility and then run this program in compatibility mode 4 and select from here Windows 7 apply and OK and hopefully like that you solve the problem. So after watching this video I'm hoping that the problem is solved and the error message doesn't appear anymore. So this was the video guys don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel with the notification bell activated so you won't miss any future uploads. Also don't forget to leave a comment down below with problems that you have on your Windows operating system and we can try to solve your issue in the next video. Until next time have a nice day.